Welcome back to Deep Fear. When we last left off, everybody died. And we fought a weird giant cow thing that had mutated because, well, of course it did. Uh, we also had our friend Sharon die. We had the nerdy guy, can't remember his name, but the bloke that actually designed and built this place, uh, he died. And then he chased us for a while. Yeah, that was a thing. That was fun. Um, now we have to go help uh, our friend, well, <laughs> our dead friend Sharon, uh, who apparently had quite the hots for us. He, she really wanted to have a good old ride on uh, John here, but um, alas, we don't always get what we want now, do we? Uh, so anyway, she had a friend, a dolphin friend called Echo. Uh, not really his name, probably, but he is now called Echo. Or she, who knows, that we need to go and save. But before we do that, I'm going to go crack a stout. Uh, this is a... This is a stout called Peeling Good. It's chocolate orange stout. Yeah. Well... It's a very strong stout, and, um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't know about that. Uh, hmm, chocolate and orange seems like a match made in heaven, but, um, uh, yeah, hmm, maybe after a couple of sips it might grow on me. Anyway, uh, it is the Queen's Jubilee today, it is Friday, uh, and I could not care less. Because I'm not interested. Uh, what I am interested in, finding my way out of this room. Uh, which is somewhere. There's got to be a door to this room. Ah, there she blows. There she blows. Just got a nice fat 4 terabyte uh, hard drive for my Series X as well. Because, oh, hello. Because that was needed. Because I'm really... Running out of space, though I've been out of space on my Series X for a long time. And I don't like spending days re-downloading games. Because here I am in the year 2022. Uh-oh. With ADSL internet. Copper broadband. Um. Okay, that was unpleasant. Copper broadband. Now, we have been told that we should be upgraded by 2026. Mm. Uh, but now they're saying it could possibly be 2028. So, yay! I'm glad they still make discs. Go! Or Sharon's life will be wasted. Well, well, John, I I think she actually um, <clears throat> probably wanted to live too, but you know, I suppose letting her dolphin friend out is probably a close second. I suppose. Uh, let's drop a save, an actual proper physical save there. Okay, so we've I was going to say we've avenged Sharon, but well, not really. Um, so we've done that. I guess we're finishing the sea farm now. Uh, yeah, I tell you guys, uh, if they ever stop printing um, discs, which I think is going to happen eventually, before we're upgraded, we're going to be boned. It already can take a couple of days to download a game easily. Uh, that's the sea farm. Wait, are we... Yeah, we... No, that's Sharon's room. That's the breeding pool. Docking area, I guess. I guess it's time to go to the docking area. Because I think we were escaping. Didn't we come down here? Ah, oh, it's been so long. Uh, 
Yes, I remember when we first moved here and uh, my missus was downloading Destiny 2 because she's quite fond of that. Uh, she had uh, seven days off, one week from work. Took her five days to download it. And then um, <laughs> trying to play it afterwards. Oh boy. Ooh, cutscene. You're doing wonderful, John. Don't get down on yourself. Um. Damn. Things are quite cold. Oh, we're all together. Uh oh. Anthony is in a bad mood, so I'm going to head back to the ERS room. Okay, Gina. Thanks. You're welcome. I forgot to tell you, the monsters, about the parasite cells. What? They're alternating generations, and seem to be definitely evolving. Evolving? Let's get out of here. Yeah. How much longer will the base last? The air unit is broken, so the atmospheric pressure has gone crazy. A couple of hours, maybe less. Well, either way... I'm heading for the Navy area. Be careful. You too. Okay, so I guess we're going to the Navy area. Um, why was the ape going mad? Is it because... Like, he's infected? Or is it because he has a cold? Maybe the ape is infected, right? I mean, that seems to be fairly obvious from here. Um, end up in the air. Right. I'm going down to the Navy area, no matter what anybody says. Um, okay. Yeah, can I go to the storage area, please? So I can reload my weapons. Yeah? No? Okay. No. I guess. I guess we're not going to reload our weapons, because who needs to do that, right? Control room, gondola, storage, sea farm area, passageway. Where's the navy area? It's been a while. CCD area? I guess... Um... Yes, we're gonna go up here. Can't remember where this goes now. I think this goes to like our command and control type area. Oop. They're asking us about stuff, and I just said yes. I really wish there was some more signage here, or a better map. I mean, I know we had some, you know, limitations, but it would have been, you know, nice to have something. Can you imagine trying to uh, read any of this stuff by using composite cables back in the day? Oh, God, good luck. Oh, hello. All right, sweetheart, calm down. Eh? What do you think of that? You want some more? Yeah, you always want more. That's right. Sleep tight. So... That's just going to take us to the docking area. Shit. E-pool, passageway. Well, I guess we can go get um, our weaponry back. I suppose. Although, I'm really not sure where the bloody navy area was, which is really annoying. Um, let's go restore all the oxygen. Let's go get our ammo and shit back first. Oh yeah, I forgot, we got the other handgun as well, didn't we? That our kind of like dad-in-law sorted us out with. 
Um, right, so that's nice. Back up to 84 shells. We cannot recharge the air. Which is a little bit awkward. But that's fine. We've still got like our rebreather and all of that lot. Uh, do we just like have to talk to Danny again? But Danny just says he's going to go to the Navy area. So, I mean, we're not going in there. God damn it. Guess we're going to go back down to the docking area. Um, if I can't sort it out here. Oh, wait, the Navy area. Doesn't that mean we get on the big platform thing in the middle? Am I really that thick? The answer is yes. Was it the big platform on the middle? In the middle? On the middle? In the middle? Egads, man. Let's find out. Yeah, because I'm sure the, the... Isn't area junction room? Yeah, isn't that huge thing in the middle? Uh, yes. Oh, now he's gone. Okay. Just go on and leave me then. Whatever, dude. Uh, okay, well, I thought, um, sea farm is the next area, that's storage area, is that where we came in, gondola port, or was it, ah, oh, no, it's the gondola port, wasn't it, to the navy area, but we, how do we, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maybe. Can we go? You can't exit from this side. Well, we know that. No one can use this gondola now. Well, that's awkward. Okay. Right, I'm confused. Doesn't take much, I know. The CCD area. But the CCD area... Don't we have like an actual map somewhere? Like a proper map? That's gas grenades. We do. Right. So... Little shark. Navy area is there. Seabed tunnel area. Sea farm. Right. So this is the navy area. Seriously, how do we get there? Uh, storage passageway backs. Was it perhaps through that storage area? See, if I check my notes, it just says go to the docking area, talk to Danny for a cutscene. You end up in the Navy area, but would you mean would you mean we end up in the Navy area? What we get transported to the Navy area, or but or was there a door here? Right. Well, we don't need any of that storage. Ah, okay. So we can recharge that.
Hmm. Let me... So, we can't go through there. Unless we can flip a switch in here. Maybe? The control room? Doesn't really make any sense. Uh, I don't think there's anything in here that we can play with. Nope. Okay, one second, guys. Okay, I think we actually have to go to the CCD area. Uh, I've just looked up in my guide. It's like, well, that makes sense. I mean, you know, apart from the fact that <laughs> uh, I could have been running around here for ages. Um, it, this is partly my fault, though, because... Well, actually, this is mainly my fault because I haven't played this game so long. And because the map is so bad... I can't remember a hundred percent sure where we're going. So let's go. So the CCD area, the command area, we need to apparently go to the CCD area for a quote cool cutscene. I don't know what a cool cutscene is, but I guess we're going to experience that together. Okay, so let's get some air out here. Now. Um, do we want to go to floor two? I mean, we uh, we've been to the storage area. There's nothing in there. Where does that go? Oh. Oh, okay. I guess this is where we're supposed to go. Commander Clancy. Um Gina, wake up. John, I'm okay. I just fainted. As soon as I entered the room, Commander Clancy. No. Oh, shit. Wait, He's Clancy. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Don't be scared. My life means more than all of you small fish. I can't end my days here. I need to get them back at the people in Washington who treated me like a criminal. The survivors. I can't let them live. Oh shit. The base atmosphere pressure is dropping. What are you going to do, John? It's Danny. You still around, Johnny boy? It looks like Clancy betrayed us. I knew it. Hurry up and come to the docking area. There's no time to lose. I'll go with Danny to the Navy area and wait for help. Go ahead. I'll protect you. Okay. 
Okay. Um, yeah, I didn't expect that. That was actually pretty cool. So, matey boy got fisted. Repeatedly. Um, so, oh no, wrong button. I hope we're not wasting too many of those. So, I guess now we have to go to the Navy area. Right. So, there's the passageway there. We can go through the storage to the docking area. Um, right. Okay. Oh, actually. Uh, is there actually anything in here? Still nothing here. No air grenades. Um, well, at least Danny's still surviving uh, so far. I hope he does actually survive because Danny's cool. Now, where is Danny? So, where's the lift here? Control deck, apartment. We don't want to go to the apartment area. Uh, right, okay, let's go back down. This isn't where we want to be. This isn't where we want to be at all. So, let's go back. To the docking area. Now the docking area was... Is that where we came from? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back to the docking area. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, I mean, I'm quite surprised the commander was so self-absorbed. Well, actually, I mean, that kind of leads into his character. He was a bit of a penis. Now, what I will say about this game is... Like, you know, the combat and everything is kind of subpar. But, I mean, okay, look, the, the, the actual acting itself is trash, right? We know that. But the story is pretty, pretty alright. You know, it's more in-depth and more involved than most survival games. You know, most of the atmosphere um, from the other side, like, you know, even with the first Resident Evil game, and the first Silent Hill game, you know, and even, I guess, you could say the first, um, Fatal Frame game, although, you know, it had more story, Fatal Frame did have, you know, a fairly decent story, but the gameplay, and the gameplay mechanics, essentially carried those games. Um, whereas this game, seems to rely more on its story than its mediocre um, gameplay loop. If that makes sense. At least that's what I'm getting from it. Because there is a heck of a lot of cutscenes in this game. And a lot of voice acting. I mean, if you think about it, in the original Resident Evil, um, not, you know, the remake, like the actual original Resident Evil game. Ooh. Should be at the table. Okay. Hey. I'm padded with him. He bit me. I need a troublemaker. Uh oh. Okay. I'll push the button in the control room. Wait. I'll get on it right away too. Okay. He bit us? Uh, or he bit Danny? That doesn't seem good. But then Danny's got a cold, so. Oh no, come on, not Danny as well. Uh, 
I'm sorry, are we not in a rush? Got to live so Danny's death isn't a waste. Let's go to the control room. I'll cover you. Okay. Let's go, Anthony. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Look, I appreciate what they're trying to do. But it, is, ugh, it just doesn't work. Uh, now, one thing I will mention in that cutscene there, you did get to see the double airlock doors, which I thought was quite cool. When we, you know, after Danny got sliced by Anna and we very slowly walked away from the door, you did see the double airlock doors there, which was cool. I can appreciate that bit of detail. If that that finally answered that question as to uh, how these flooded rooms stay pressurized. Um, now, why John pulled his gun and refused to shoot Anna? Uh, you know, I I know he said hold still, implying that Danny and Anna were flaying all over the place and they were getting in each other's way. And oh no, no clear shot. But that was a load of bollocks, because Anna wasn't really moving. In fact, Anna was being pretty good. She was patiently waiting uh, for Danny to spill his uh, lines. <sighs> and the way you see the elevator going down as well, um, you know, at a fairly decent pace. But, uh, of course, no, John has to slowly stop, kneel down, pick... Up the dog, can't remember the dog's name, and then look back before jumping down onto the elevator. Probably would have broken his legs by then, but yeah. Okay, anyway, I'm going to stop picking holes in this because, you know, <laughs> I'm sure we can all do that. Um, yeah. I mean, they're trying. They, they are trying. And this probably would have been like a holy shit moment back in, I don't know, 1990 whatever 
Yeah, um, hmm. But anyway, as I was saying, this game seems to heavily lead into its story. Like, it revolves around its story and what's going on. Whereas with Resident Evil 1, uh, the original game, I mean, you had a um, group of guys going into a strange mansion because their B team had disappeared in that mansion before. Oh no, everybody dies. Everybody gets separated and, and lost. We explore the mansion. Seems to be something weird going on with the, the leader. Oh no, the leader is acting strange. Oh no, the leader betrays us. Uh, that was it. That That's the story, you know. Um, and Silent Hill, well... Silent Hill didn't really have a huge story to it, not the first game, it was more kind of like psychological horror, the game getting in your head. I mean, it did have a narrative that dragged the game along, yes, but um, it wasn't like a, a big deal, it was very simple. Man goes looking for daughter, daughter apparently wrapped up in some horribly weird, strange cult, cult bad, daughter dead, game ends, basically. Uh, but I suppose you could go into the whole twin soul thing, blah, blah, blah. But it wasn't exactly, you know, complex. Whereas this game is just cutscene after cutscene after cutscene after cutscene, which is cool, it's fine, but it doesn't have the, the strong gameplay, I would say, that the other games had. Now, it would have been nice to see Sega continue with this franchise, to see where it could have gone, 